Hey everyone, this is Micah with Elk County Family Puppies, and I am here with Tanya and Jake Slitter, and they were born on January 16th. So we just got done doing pictures, and now we're going to do the video here and talk a little bit about each one. So all of these puppies right now are spoken for. Um, there were actually, uh, we have three females and three males um, that, are avail or, uh, that are spoken for right now. There were actually three more females, but we're actually keeping um, some of those back. Uh, one, or uh, yeah, sorry, three of them are going to be staying with us, and we are going to be keeping those here at our home and raising those up to be our future females here with us. Um, so we have some older females that we're going um, to be, um, they're not going to be having puppies anymore. So we've been conscious of that. We don't want to overwork them and they're getting older in age. So we want to um, protect their health and, and make sure we do right by them. So that's what the plan is. Um, so first up, let's see here, 4043. And when I'm looking at the name here, this is, okay, yeah, this is Ty, little male. And uh, let's see here. Of all of them, he's probably not the smallest, but he's kind of more toward the bottom in weight, um, but he's doing really good. Um, this litter didn't have as much of the white markings as maybe some of our others have. Um, Grendel, the other male um, that we have, that's actually our male. Um, we did an outside stud service for this litter, but Grendel, our male, he has some puppies that maybe sometimes have a little bit more white markings, but um, this litter didn't have as much, especially on the toes. Um, what would you yeah, does that feel good to be up there? Yeah, I like it too. You're almost like a little kitty, you purr. <laughs> but yeah, he's a really sweet little guy. Um, he does have a little bit of white on his chest, um, but no, none on the toes. And yeah, this is his little tie. And then next up, I think this is a male as well, because he's the biggest. 4041. I know this is a female, Trudy. Double check that. Yep, it's a female, so this is Trudy. And yeah, she, maybe this one here might be close to the same size, but of the, what I'm looking at right now, she is about the biggest of them. And she's doing really good, as you can see. Big round belly, um, nice, nice little tail. And we do have a little bit of white on her toe here, none on the chest. So this is Trudy. And if you go back and watch our very first video when we introduced these, they are. Uh, they have lightened up a little bit, so they don't have that uh, really dark fur. They've lightened up to that more um, standard um, Norwegian Elkhound look. So this is Trudy. And let's see, next. 4045. This is Taylor, another female. You can see she's a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller, not by much. Eh, it is actually a fairly big difference, but yeah, this is Taylor. She's a little bit smaller. She's doing really good, aren't you? She's a little, yeah, a little more petite, but you can see she's super relaxed when she does it. Maybe a little nervous, but that's something that they'll get more comfortable with. Different hand held positions, they grow in confidence. Um, these Alcons, there, they do take a little bit longer to come out of their shell as far as personality. Um, there's little things here and there that we can pick up on as far as that goes, but they're not um, a breed that's just quick to run around and um, look, be into everything. They're, they're a little bit more shy at first, but they do definitely come out of their shell all around seven to eight weeks, um, sometimes even out to nine to ten weeks before they really, really gain a lot of that confidence to just run around and poke their nose into things. So they're very intelligent, uh, very, um, very, um, how do you want to say, very pet friendly. Um, breed. They love companions. They love companionship. Um, you know, she. You know, I held her here. She just totally calmed down and not making the peep. So she. They just love, love that connection um, with people. So next one here. This is probably the smallest. Uh, yeah, probably about the smallest. Let's see here who you are. Four. This is Tara. And I have a sister named Tara, so shout out to her. <laughs> but this is little Tara, this is a female. And she has just barely a little bit of white on the tips of her toes there. And just a little tuft on her chest there. But um, she's doing really good. Again, very confident, calm. Yeah, they don't like it, then they, then they relax. <laughs> yeah, you're really good, aren't you? Yeah, this is little Tara. And 
let's see here. I'll reach over you all here. There was quite a quite a few in this litter. There were a total of nine. Um, so Tanya did an amazing job. All of these, there's no runts, um, no no issues. So Tanya did a really good job raising these pups. This is Troy, a little male, and he's he's got a white tiptoe there, a little bit on his chest. So this is Troy. And this is just something I do, hold them on their back. It's, it's not a very comfortable thing for them, but you can definitely see it's a way to kind of test. What I'm doing is basically testing if they can relax, if they're confident. Like there's no fear of being dropped. You know, they have, they, there's like that fear is just, um, yeah, there's just not a lot of fear. And so that's good. And they're, com and they're comfortable, they relax quickly. Um, and then you always, we always bring them back here, make sure they know that they're okay. Yeah. They can hear our voice, they know our voice, and they know that they're um, safe. So that's the main thing. You bring them back here, and then they usually calm right down and do it, and they're totally cool. So, put you back over here, okay? And last but not least, oops, ah, we have a male here. And just want to double check, four, six, this is Tab, uh, sorry, Ty Tylen. So he's a little chunkster. Big round belly, he's doing really good. No white really on him, but he's doing really good too. Big round belly, he's the biggest probably of the males. So he calms right down quickly too. Don't you, don't you. Yeah, sometimes by this age, we, we maybe a little bit more rough with them. Not rough, but like a little more aggressive. Just get them used to that, being held and touched and felt. You get them used to being you know, around children. Sometimes children aren't the most, um, gentle with puppies so we want to get them used to um, that little bit more aggressive touch you know nothing to hurt them and then we always bring them back make sure that they know they're safe yeah he's yeah yeah i hear you <laughs> anyway so we really love these puppies and they're doing really good yeah oh i know i know yeah <laughs> sometimes some of them take a little bit longer to calm down but um, but he's doing really good, um, as all of these puppies are. So, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you have any more questions, this is um, our last litter for a little while. Um, we're probably not going to have a litter again until maybe late fall, um, sometime in fall of 2024. So it'll be a, a number of months here um, as we kind of have a transition period going on with us, um, having some bringing in some younger females, and we'll have to let them grow up. And we have um, we'll still have Tanya around. She's going to stick around for another. Uh, little while so it might be her coming around later this fall uh, maybe in the winter again about a year from now um, that she'll be having another litter she might be the next one coming up again so um, if you really like these puppies if you want to get your name on a list um, you could do that um, and we'll have Tanya's litter probably later again this fall um, another litter coming around so thanks for watching um, again my name is Micah elkhamfamilypuppies.com